Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We left off in the last episode. We had researched a hard drive make, uh, for making compacted coal, and that was after we'd set up down there toward the end of the bus the assembly for making the heavy modular frames. Uh, here at the MAM, we found a few researches we wanted to do, uh, the first of which was this research for the high-speed connector, which will take us three seconds to do. And anything, Ada? No. Okay. Uh, that unlocks supercomputer, which we don't, we can't make yet. It unlocks a recipe here for more po inflated pocket dimension, but we don't have those high-speed connectors made yet, obviously. And then Power Pulse Mark III, which also need the uh, high-speed connectors. Oh, I see. They take. Uh, Katarium wire plus cable plus something else. Which probably unlocked earlier in the in the thing here, but I don't know what those were. Okay, and we also picked up the recipes, or looked at the recipes for these pocket dimensions. So I picked up 150 black powder, the other 50 is in, uh, is in the box next to us here. Um, but this, this, these each take three minutes, so we will start that one up and then we can uh, we can do the other one later. Um, let's pick this up, sort here. What I should have done was started the one before I started the episode. That way it would be finishing as I was starting the episode. That would have been the smart thing to do. And so I think I will actually pause this for the for the next two and a half minutes, and return when this as this one finishes. And we're back as the last few seconds wind down on this research. We'll get that expanded tool belt. Oh wait, this is an expanded tool belt? I didn't read that. <laughs> that gave us, actually, the fifth slot here, which would be good because we could throw, say, the chainsaw in there. Um, this is the pocket dimension, which I should have done first, but that's okay. So we'll get that started, and then we'll just let that run, and we can run off to, uh, no, run off here, and let the hypertube take us to the other end of the base. We're also uh, waiting on this milestone, which we needed these heavy frames in order to accomplish. We also need a little bit more bag space, or to clean some of this junk out before we can use it. Okay, so we need to have 10 frames for, to build another manufacturer, which we should have by now. We already had five. Yep, we have plenty. Well, plenty might be a bit of a misnomer, but uh, manufacturer. What else do I need? 50 plastic. Okay. I didn't think about that one. That was it. I think that was the only one that was showing red. If I'd have thought about that, I could have ran and got that while I was paused and letting the ma'am do that research. Okay, we'll just but this is a fairly short run. That dang, those bees respawned up there too. There's some over there. The two respawned that were uh, on the iron nodes right next to the hub. You know what? I will take enough for that research as well. That we don't have to come back down here when we start that research. I don't think I have enough uh, motors in my inventory to do it. Though, no, I only have 45. So we'll definitely have to grab those before we can do that research. And then we obviously need the 3,000 copper wire, which is six stacks. Which I guess will help us get rid of that second stack I've been grumbling about for an episode or two now. This has been about three minutes. Let's see if the ma'am's done. 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to wait it out. Actually, I will wait it out over here. If 
by feeding in these and these that we needed. And sure, one of you as well. I'll keep the other one just in case I need it for something else. And that way we can bring back the other stuff we need and have a little bit of extra space. Plus, we're going to get five more slots here. And that is that. Now we have those extra five slots. Uh, no, we're going in the hypertube, Wally. Hyper tube. There we go. Alright, so we'll build the manufacturer. Take a look at that recipe and see what we need to bring in in order to make computers. Although now that I think about it, we may not be able to make computers. We may have to make high-speed connectors or something along that line first. But that'll help us look at it, look at it and see what we need to make. Computers, which are here. Circuit boards. We need to bring the plastic up to the bus as well. Cables and screws. So we need to make circuit boards first. Circuit boards are made in an assembler. And we know by looking at those, was it AI limiters or the high speed connectors, that we need circuit boards for other things. So we might as well just make an assembly of those and see what we need for them. All right, so assembler. Wait, how many did the manufacturer need? Manufacturer for the computers, if we made one one recipe, we need 25 circuit boards per minute. Okay, let's see what that recipe entails. Circuit boards. Those also need plastic. Thirty plastic per minute plus fifteen copper sheets per minute. That's not too bad. That makes the seven and a half. That means we need two. What did I? I don't know why I deconstructed this manufacturer again. I want to be able to see it because we needed twenty-five. That means we need four of these, just four computers alone, basically. Which means we need one hundred twenty plastic and sixty copper sheets. We were making not anywhere near that much plastic. I'll leave it there. Leave it there, Wally. Leave it there. We were making not nearly that much plastic. I think we were making 60. So we need to make more plastic. Well, I think we can start by bringing those items up to the bus. Somehow. Um, probably merging them in somewhere right around here would be the best place. And then taking them up along with the copper and cotarium items. They'll have to go up higher than them, though, because... Let me see, where are we at here? We're over there, which is almost to the end there. So, yeah, we'll have to bring them in over there. Um, here's the topmost item here, which is the copper sheets, is there. We have at least two items above them. So I can I can do I can put them here, but then when they get to here, they need to go up too higher. From between here and here. Maybe I'll just I don't know. Maybe I'll just put those spaces in. Okay, so these obviously need to be belted this way and then elevated up here. Um, how far over are they? They are he here. Are they centered? They should be. We could do something in this general vicinity. Um, two and three at least. Although perhaps I want to just go up the whole way to start with. Which means that one, two, three, four, five, six... They would need to be at least seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then if I take seven 
just bring it down like this. Yeah, oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this now. No, it's not. Oh, I'm on the wrong slot. Okay. There? Yes. I did this so that I could force this lift to be a upward lift instead of a downward lift. I don't think that'll go all the way down. Did I have a 40 meter height level here? Or did I go all the way down 20? I have a 40, okay. I'm gonna go down here to the 40 meter height level. I don't think I actually took this staircase after I built it, after, uh, or since you all have been, been here. But this won't go all the way down, which is fine. This is going to be a problem. The alternative would be to bring the items in on the 20 meter height level and then take them up over there someplace. The flaw with that would be, even like on this next tile here, up there. Uh, one, two, two, so it'd be there. The flaw with, the, with that would be that that's in the middle of whatever I decide I want to do with either of these. Well, that's not that big of a flaw. And I kind of like it. So let me cue out of that. So that would be one, two squares. It would be this square, I think. What's up there? Nothing. That's promising. And I didn't build a hyper tube down here to the 40 meter level. Because I didn't think I would be down here very much. <laughs> That's actually not a bad place. So, what I would need, oops, what I would need here is a stackable pole here. However, this might not work the way that I want it to. So if this one went down like this. Down there someplace. Then I want to have the next one coming up behind it. Somehow. Or they need to come up side by side. That might be the better option. Let's bring them up side by side. Uh, take out those. So, if we bring them up side by side, they can come up that center, so maybe like here and here. If they come up side by side, then they can make this turn where this power pole is. Or actually, they'll go above the power pole, so it won't matter. And then go up onto this, this thing up here. Up there someplace. I think this is better, bringing them up side by side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, no wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have to deconstruct those, but I need to get closer for that. Alrighty. I have, I have room here to put in a railing. Just for uh, my own safety. There. There. And there. I think this will work. 
Let me put in one more of these. And then I can take this one and connect it to... Oopsie. There. That is almost too perfect. I like that a lot. And that goes there. And as per usual, I'm designing with Mark 1 belts, and then we'll we'll upgrade to scale here. And then this goes down to some place. Oh, gee, another's clearance. Ooh, it's too close to the edge. Or not close, not far enough from the edge. Well, that's problematic. Because now that doesn't make that perfect anymore. That comes off of the edge. How did that one work out so well? Oh, it's because of the railing. Okay, that's easily fixed. The railing is the problem, not the edge. The railing's got to go in after the lift. That's all. Yep, that works fine. Okay, so now we need to go back downstairs. Whee! And I think I can just... Take it down as far as it'll go. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I can't see that one now. But take it down as far as it'll go and then connect the second one into it. If you're careful, you can make the jump like this. I'm not careful, but I still was able to do it. If I can do it, anybody can. Okay, and then this one... You know what? Let's go do it this way. I wonder if it'll hold my conveyor lift if I'm in the hypertube. Or if, it'll, if I'll lose it. I lost it. Okay. Now we know. Alright, so you're coming down right here. Which means that I probably need... Maybe here? Uh, these gotta be higher, though. This stuff is at level... 2. I probably wanna bring them up together on level 3 and 4, and then split them just before they come in in here. So let's put these up at at least level 3. Possibly both at 4. Um, we'll see how these connect. They should connect just fine. I don't want to die here. There. They don't reach all the way across, though. Because we, we have slightly more spacing than we needed. I think that's the right level. Yes, it is. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, and then this one can come down, go in right next to that one, and then the same thing. I think that looks fine. I don't see a problem with that. So, if I go here now, just, let's just say, two, three, four. One of them's gonna go here to there, and the other one's gonna go here to there. And I think that's fine as well. Okay. So, this is already at level 2 here. This needs to go up one level, which it can't. Well, it actually needs to go up two levels, which it can. Uh, I want to put in some stackable poles, though, so I can make sure I measure my levels correctly. Nope, it's got to be there. Four. Two, three, four. That's right. Okay. And then this one needs to come out a bit. Just enough for uh, the space of the elevator itself, or the lift itself, rather.
That's four. That's three. Are those too close? I like it. We're running out of iron, though. Can't afford. At least I can use this for measurement. Okay, so this has to be here. And then this one can echo all the way. It can. Is that an okay spot for this? It's on the line. Wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It could be this far back here. Let's see. What's a good spot for this? I think maybe I'll move it. Uh, nope. This one. There we go. I'll move it to here. Two, three, and four. And at this point, I need more iron. So I'm going to pause and go fetch some more iron. All right, and I'm back with 500 iron, so hopefully that lasts us. Let's see, top level goes to there. You go there. Those are both very straight. Good, 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 good. This one goes here, and this one goes here. While I'm down here, before I move on, I need to check and see how much plastic we're making. We are making 20 times 3, which is 60. So the computers, or the, the high-speed connectors requiring 120 means we need to set up more stuff. Uh, our circuit ports, that's what they're called, circuit ports. Um, because we need four of these to make 30 per minute because the computer required... Oh, I forgot, there's... Um, also, the X key here, which lets us look at parts, including the computer. So the computer requires 18 times 2 point, uh, 18 times 10. No. 10 times 2.5, which is 25. So we need to make three assemblers worth of high speed connectors. Uh, circuit boards, sorry. Because they're seven and a half, which means we need seven and a half times four plastic. Times four. That's 120. Plus, we need plastic for the computer, which is two and a half times 18. So that's another 45. Oh boy, we need lots of plastic. So, uh, we're going to have to do some expansion down here to make more plastic. Uh, maybe I'll expand it that way. But we need to also uh, overclock or go bring in more oil um, in order to be able to make more plastic. And there's more oil. Those are the three we have there. The next ones are quite a bit further. Not obscenely further, but they're quite a bit further. And if I look at uh, setxfactorycalculator.com's map, uh, those are depending on depending on which ones are in those pings. There are three more impure nodes, three, uh, and depending on what you count as close, um, two pure nodes, which wouldn't be a bad idea to go and try to get. Uh, but the impure nodes, and then there, there's a few normal nodes as well, between one and three, depending on what you count as close. Um, those aren't too far. Let's see, which direction am I facing? I'm facing north, northeast. That's probably that the first ping, well, the second ping.
The first one is probably the two impure nodes, and then the second one is probably an impure and a normal node, because the pure ones are more directly east from where I'm standing right now. So, and they're further away also. So we could go up there and try and pipe some of this other crude in, or we could overclock the, the uh, oil extractors. Yes, the oil extractors we have with some slugs, some slug thingies. Um, but for right now, at least we can get this plastic up there and make what we can make, or get started at what we can make, I suppose, and then have another oil episode where we deal with making more stuff. Okay, so that's, we can only, we're only making 60 of each, so only doing Mark 1 belts for now is fine. Hey look, it's all up there. Nice. So we need to go up here and kill those bees again. Uh, we could use, I forgot I have five things now. We could use the Nautilus, that might kill them. And I missed. Oh, that's right. I gotta do a drop here because this thing shoots slowly. Come and get it. There you go. And I swung too late. Come and get it. Got him that time. And you. Got that one. Okay. Not so bad with the laser sword, but still annoying. So here I need to go up by two more empty slots because I want this to mark kind of the end of the bus here and then two more for these two belts here you go there and you go there okay one two three four There. There. Thank you. Jump down. Power lines kind of in the way. There. And there. Excellent. And then these I'm moving because I'm standing on a belt. There. This is kind of I guess I'll call it monotonous but on the other hand it's something that kind of needs to be done or not more than more than kind of definitely needs to be done and adding items to the bus is an important step in the base down. We still need to go quite a bit. Okay. We go there. Now this is getting speedy. Maybe I should go on the other side. That might be useful. There we go. That's much clearer. Oh, I did the wrong one. No. No. Here and here. And then this one needs three poles on top of it. Out of iron plates again. Wow. We just tore through all those. I 
That's quite a uh, tall bus now. Mm, I better get a little bit more. That should, should symbolize where we need to be. And now these take plastic and copper sheets. The plastic is the top one, I think. And copper sheets is not this far down the bus. So we also need to bring that down. Uh, here's the end of it. Oh, good lord, which level is this on? I think it's on this one. Go there. Excellent. So, we do a splitter. Mark our spot. And then... This needs to go way up. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Thirteen and seventeen. That's pretty tall, too. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 and 17, right? Yes. Uh, deconstruct the assembler. Pick up another one here. Probably should have done this differently. I.e. smartly. One, two, I think three. That might be four. Grab one of these for fun. Yep, too far. Assembler. Can't see my guidelines. That one. I think. Yep. Pink. Uh, splitter again. Although maybe I don't want these jacked way up there like that. Let's rethink that idea. If I bring the copper sheets down to say level three, on line with these, this belt here, for example, uh, that's letter number four. One, two, three, four. Then if I bring these down, no, oh, I can't do that. Not if these are in the same line. I have to bring over Yeah, I definitely need a better system for pulling these off these items off of the bus. Although Once I do the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This should be 17 because we started at 0. And this should be 13 because we started at 0. So if we brought those over here and brought them down, 
We could also bring them down on this side and bring them down to a much more normal level for the rest of the machines that would be here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put this in the right spot. Oh, gone it. I lined it up with this one, when in fact it should be way over here. It should be lined up... Get rid of that too. It should be lined up with this... This constructor here. Puts it... see here. One. Well, I could just do it right there. Should be right here. Hmm. Can I do this differently? If I bring one of them down to this point, to this height, the copper sheets, if I bring them down to this height and bring it over, I could bring this over also to this, at its height, to this point, and then bring them down to a more reasonable height here. That might be a better option. Let's try that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Right. Then we need also splitters over here. Uh, see, copper sheets are co both of them are coming from from our right. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So if I brought this belt here to there, and then I deleted, nope, nope, nope. I deleted number 16, 15, 14. And then 12 all the way down to zero. Need to also remove this belt and this belt and rebuild them. Go there. there and there okay and then this one can be brought down to level three which is I think there there one two three yes and then that one's there I'm gonna take this out I think this will work if not, I'll have a mess to fix. But what, what, what's, what, what, why not? Why not be the first time, right? And then bring this down to say, let's see, this is three and four. No, and five. It is. <laughs> I think this will work better. I mean, we still have that super high belt there, but at least it's brought down to a more civilized level when we get to this point. Okay, so splitter goes here. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. Use this as my... Can I climb all the way up there? You'd think I could. But you would also perhaps think be thinking, oh, no, wait, here we go. You can jump up there, and then like that. So if there wasn't smoke spewing out of this thing, I'd be able to see 
if this connects... Yep, there it is. And then this actually doesn't need to be here at all. Nor does that. Because this can be in straight into there. So why did I do that right there? I don't know why I did that right there. I could have just brought it all the way over here. But I'm not going to fix it now. It looks fine. Or it works fine. That one goes away. And actually, that one's in the wrong spot anyway. So they need to come out. And then this goes here. Not where I had it. Uh, where's the line? I saw the line. Alright. There's our line issues again. Oh, that's why. It was rotated wrong. I think that's correct. Three. Three, rather. Four. And five. You know what? Actually, I'm going to make a correction here. I'm going to change this means I just picked up a bunch of plastic, but we'll use it eventually. One, two. Comes in here. And then we can lift this stuff down. There. And down. There. Now that should provide the items we need. And we just need power here. Uh, power pole can go here, because we'll have a second one. Eventually, at least. Actually, I think we can afford the second one now. Goes here. And there. And if I have the recipe set on this, which I don't, uh, we can make circuit boards. Pick this up. Circuit boards. One, two, three. Zero, one, two, three, and four. Delete four plus three. There and there. And then lifts here and here. And then these items should start making. We can check the other one to see that it's making those already. And it is. Circuit boards. And circuit boards. Now that's all the plastic we can actually provide at this point. Which is 30 per minute. Um, and we're using probably... We're probably overtaxing our copper sheets as well. But that's just something we can expand. We have plenty of copper available. So... In reality, this should be uh, doubled, but we don't have the plastic, so in a future episode, a very soon episode, we're going to also have to go out and uh, get some more oil in one way or another and make some more plastic. Before we go, we'll leave those to make and build up in the machine. They probably stack to 50 or 100, so we'll have a few. I did pick up uh, earlier when I was paused, I think it was when I came back for, for plates the first time, I did pick up the, the motors we need. So I want to run over and pick up that copper, and we can do this research before we get out of here. A bit of a longer episode, but I think uh, I think it's been worth it to kind of have that work session to evolve the lift off of the bus design, as well as to add a couple more items onto the bus in case you know maybe there are people here who haven't uh, been party or witness to the the bus system. Um, from the previous episodes, maybe somebody's new and might be interested in that. Picking it up here in the middle, I should say. Okay, so let's dump this stuff in. Uh, you guys and you guys. And go. Alternative fluid transport. Milestone reached. 
Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. So that gave us liquid biofuel as well as um, all of the these packaged liquids that we've made already. Um, liquid biofuel takes some either the biomass or uh, the solid biofuel and actually makes it into a liquid form. So we could do that and set up some burners for that, but we need to set up the industrial, no, the the other burner, which is here, the fuel generator, before we can actually burn it, I think. So um, which one of these do we want to do next? Probably this one. We need computers for it. We need computers for all three. Uh, I do want to play with trains some, but this is also kind of amusing. Maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do jetpacks next. It's also the least amount of computers needed, which at this point is going to be kind of essential. But we can always change our minds later. So, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.